Before I actually read this story, I have to give a shout out to Professor Black Truth on the recent commentary, the moment of truth that he did concerning Brittany Griner's return back to the States from Russia, because it's something that he said in there that actually prompted me to want to do this story. Because I'm going to be honest, this was a story I was not going to really touch on, but something he said in that commentary that alludes to what happened with Mark Curry. And that was, you know what, I'm going to actually uh, save it for the end of what uh, Professor Blackshoe said in that video that made me make this, want to talk about this incident that happened with Mark Curry a couple days ago. And I'm recording this video on December 12, 2022. Comedian Mark Curry is being flooded with support after claiming he was racially profiled by employees at the mining Exchange A. Wyndham Grand Hotel and Spa in Colorado Springs, Colorado on Saturday, December. Curry was apparently lounging in the hotel lobby when a white male employee approached him and asked if he was a guest and demanded to see his ID. The family reunion actor, who was on Instagram Live at the time, shared the 26-minute video on his page. In the caption, Curry wrote, Black man in a hotel lobby, it's impossible that he has a room here. No, I have a suite. He walks up to me with no badge on, and you can see it right here that he doesn't have a badge on. He walked up to me with no badge on. I don't know who this man is, and he asked to see my hotel key. Wyndham Racism, 719-323-2000. Call them, please. John Crab and John is spelled J-H-O-N, head of the security and head of maintenance at the same time. The footage showed the man irritably standing in front of him and asking Curry to confirm his guest status. Nearby, a second male guest staff member stood watching the encounter. Elsewhere, the actor showed the two men as they trailed behind him throughout the lobby. Once back in his room, Curry stated, This is some BS. This is what we do in America. The MFR was so upset. I don't know what his problem was. He did not want me in the lobby. He walked up and said, this lobby is private and stopped me. He went on to implore his followers to call the hotel and F them up with complaints about how the staff interacted with them. The post was inundated with comments from the comedian's peers. Guy Tory wrote, I was just there two weeks ago. That that's the hotel across from the country club. They giving you ish. D.L. Hughley commented, you good, my dude? I called the number a bunch of times and can't get through. The Hanging with Mr. Cooper lead also garnered support from his former castmates Raven Simone and Holly Robinson Pete. The latter tweeted, I watched the whole video. There was no reason for Mark to be singled out except for the fact that he's a black man. Since when do you have to identify yourself sitting in the lobby drinking coffee? This would be far farcical if it wasn't so disrespectful. And that's the entire tweet right there in the sense then you know the the franchise you know people sounded off to the franchise about what happened but holly robinson p had basically responded to him and said that's fine and all that you responded back to the people who was outraged about it but has anyone responded directly to mark yet and which i don't think they actually have now to go back to what i was saying about professor black truth and then i'm gonna go back into my response to this Professor Black Truth was saying in so many words that uh, no matter who you are, like as far as maybe and this is for black Hollywood or black celebrities or black entertainers, black socialized people, black people in the public eye that has a lot of eyes on them. Don't think that you are too big, no matter where you are, maybe in your career, that racism and white supremacy cannot follow you wherever it is that you go. It's any and it's everywhere. It's here and it is abroad. Brittany Griner found that out the hard way. Mark Curry is is fault is in the same boat. This is his uh this is his wake up call, so to speak. Don't think that you can be in a position and that nothing will happen to you, whether on a verbal or in a physical sense. Because it definitely can. Do not think that you can be touched. That's why it irks the hell out of me when you have these PC pundits that sit up on their little high horses and try to tell black people who are famous that, 
oh, well, not just them, but also their co-colonizing cohorts of color, quote unquote. They uh, try to tell black people, oh, you can't experience racism because you have all this money. You're a millionaire and this, then the third doesn't matter. You can be touched either way. It does not matter. Remember what happened to Oprah, the Mammy Supreme Wig Free all them years ago when she went to that store in France or Paris or wherever it was? It doesn't matter. We remember when, you know, Snoop, he got banned from an entire country. Speaking of getting banned, didn't Tariq get banned from London? So don't think that just because you have a lot of money or you have some kind of appeal or some kind of social climbing status that puts you above or in a certain tax bracket that you have somehow arrived completely because you really haven't gone much of anywhere. You're kind of like in neutral. You're kind of moving, but you're kind of not. That's what I have to say about that. Now, as far as this story goes, the proof that Mark has, as far as I'm concerned, when it comes to this, that this was a racial profiling was the fact that there were other people in that hotel lobby that this employee bypassed and went straight to him. Now, you can tell by this picture that Mark is definitely just chilling. He's lounging by the way that he's propped on the, the, the seat on what whatever he's sitting on. You can tell he's not sitting upright. You know, he's just chilling like this. Like he said, he's just lounging. So he was right for the picking. Black guy, check. In a nice hotel, check. Lounging, check. Looks like he shouldn't be there, check. Like he, he pretty much checked all the stereotypical checks on the ch uh, stereoty stereotypical checklist for a black man. And this guy saw fit to come over. And mess with him and ask him to show ID to prove that he's that he was a guest at this hotel. Yeah. If I was them, because if I was the that hotel, because they brought so much controversy over this, or he would be fired. No ifs, ands, or buts about it. Go find yourself another place to work. Not because you are you could be a bad employee or whatever, but you did bring controversy our way. Un unwarranted attention. Unwanted attention in our direction. And we can no longer deal with you as an employee here on our staff. So collect your last check or we'll send it to you. Direct deposit or however you want it. And happy trails. But something tells me that's not what went down. I, like I said, that's what I would have did. But because I don't run it or because I'm not over this hotel, what can I really do? But yeah, this is this multiple this multiple lessons here. But the main one here is to the black entertainer or the black celebrity. Don't get too comfortable in your status that you lose you lose sight of the fact that at the end of the day you're still a black person in america you will still get treated like the rest of us maybe even more because you have that status so they'll try to bring you down a peg in a few pegs see they figure they already have us systematically in a position where we can't really fight back the way we should be able to See, at least on the financial side with y'all, you might have a fighting chance, but then again, they still hold all the cards. So if they want to cut you off, let's just put it this way. When it comes to the everyday black person, when it comes to system to white supremacy, our fall will be very short. It'll, it, we're going to hit that. We're going to have that fall. It's going to be a short one, but we'll fall. However, when it comes to that black elite, that person who's in that top 1% when white supremacy decides to tap you on the shoulder, your fall is going to be so much more greater and so much more longer. If you don't understand what I mean by that, look at what's happening with Kanye West.